Hey there Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivano with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular video, I'm gonna introduce you to an app called Workspaces that might be very useful for your daily workflows. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay, so here we are with the um, Workspaces website. Uh, and this is an application that's put out by a company of developers called um, um, Aptorium, I believe, Aptorium. And they put out about four or five different products right now. And, and Workspaces is one that um, I, I know about. And another one they put out called Expressions, which I might do an article or a video about. But uh, let me focus here on Workspaces. Before I get into what it's about, first off, you can you know find Workspaces at their website. Um, I'll put the uh, link to the, uh, to the website in the descriptions below. And, you know, of course, you can download it for a free trial. You can buy it there or you can buy it in the mac app store and you can also buy it in another place called set app and let me introduce that to you uh set app is a kind of um it's over here and i'll put this in the description as well set app is a kind of a another kind of mac store and it's basically it's a subscription based um uh, uh you know store what have you online store what have you that you can get access to over a hundred um, different Mac applications and I've signed up for it and I'm trying it out and, and using it for the next several months uh, to see how useful it is to me and also to introduce some of the um, applications inside uh, set app and I'm also a um, an affiliate for set app and so you know if you use my affiliate link that would also help support me and Mac automation tips so I really appreciate that as well but anyway um, basically you can sign up for set app um, without paying you know any money you know, without even using a credit card they give you a seven day trial to check it out and then if you like if you want to continue then you uh, pay a not ten dollars a month or ninety nine dollars a year and again you get access to over a hundred different um, applications and they'll and they're also adding applications on a regular basis they've gone from like 60 to 100 in the last few months i believe so you can go here and, and just use this. And again, if you don't mind, please use my uh, link below so that, um, again, you know, I can get uh, commission uh, for that. Now, um, a part of what they'll do once you sign up, you can download um, the set app application and all the programs that they have a part of the subscription will be in that application. So you don't have to go online every time to do this, but you can, you know, go and look and browse at some of the individual applications and one of them is workspaces in there and I'll, I'll put the link here as well and again you can download it uh, you can do a download here or you can do it within their application all right so um, again so let's go back to uh, set app here set app is a very uh, easy um, to use application and I'm going to show you reason why you might find it useful for your uh, daily workflow so basically let me get rid of this here you're going to find the uh, workspaces in your menu bar up here, a little tiny icon right here. And you just click on here and um, it'll open up. And I've already have um, one set up and I'm going to show you how I set it up here. But, but let me show you what it does. So basically I have a, a, a title of this category, Meetings, right here. And you notice I have an application and a, um, a URL. So I can add as many items that I want for that particular uh, workspace over here. And then if I, you know, put the start button here, it opens up Slack and it opens up the website Meeting King. So those are two applications that I use when I am, um, you know, when I'm, when I'm in, 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 you know, in the process of, of holding online meetings, right? And so it's really easy to do. It's like, you know, so you don't have to, it just saves you a couple of clicking, you know, particularly if you have, three or four or five items that you want to kind of open up. So all you have to do in order to get started with this is, just, you know, you, you go in and you open this up here. You can click um, the edit button here and then you're going to, you know, add a, a, a category. So whatever that category might be. And I've already set one up, so I'm not going to go through that, you know, because it's pretty easy. So the category might be a meeting or it might be, um, you know, a website project or, or a writing project or whatever you know, kinds of things that you're working on um, on, a, on a regular basis, right? And then once you, um, you know, have your workspace, then all you have to do 
is click right here and you notice you can add you know particular files folders websites um, emails applications terminal hacks uh, URLs what have you so you know you just click here and you give it a title you know say meeting King um, and then you put the 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 URL right here um, let me see oops then you so you know you can just put the you can copy and paste um, or type out the particular web page or what have you and put it in there and then you know once it's set up then all you have to do is go activate it um, from the top here and click the start button and again you know it's, it's really easy to do um, and it's a nicely designed I thought, one of the things I like about the uh, applications from this particular developer is they're they're really well designed um, applications and simple to use now for us Mac automators for those of you that use um, for, for if you use keyboard maestro you can you can do something similar to keyboard maestro too um, Move this out the way for a second. You can do the same thing in kind of, you know, in, in Keyboard Maestro. You can start a macro that opens up uh, particular actions, you know, opens up a web page, opens up an application, that kind of thing. If you're familiar with Keyboard Maestro, you know what I'm talking about. And I and the, one of the advantages of using it in Keyboard Maestro is that you can set a uh, particular time and day. So I have this meeting king set up to go on, you know, Wednesday and Thursday. And so when I come to my computer, it's just boom, this is already there. So um, I don't have to, you know, down to do anything. It's just set up for me every week. Um, but again, you know, if you're not into meeting, if you're not in the keyboard maestro, it's something you don't really want to, you know, get bothered with right now, what have you, that's fine. But this right here serves its purposes. And as well as it's nice that you can just access this from the menu bar um, when you need it. So again, you know, it's nice, nice application. Um, and I'll be also in a, uh, doing some other, um, you know, uh, articles and, 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 and videos about other set app applications that you might be interested in. Okay, so that's it for this episode of Mac Automation Tips. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Hey, if you're new to this channel, definitely please subscribe and hit that like button below to let me know that you want this type of content. I really appreciate it. Also, I really want to help you can help me out by also signing up with Set App. If you're interested in that type of subscription program, definitely use my referral link below because that really helps support the overhead cost of maintaining MacAutomationTips.com. So really appreciate it and thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.